Hi, welcome to Uspot 101, the video series where I show you useful tips and tricks based on Uspot basic features. And for today's video, I would like to talk about tasks and especially task queue. So is a queue you can find here, what it is and how to use it. So Uspot just allow us to create what we call task queue, which are filters you can implement to segment your task into different fields of your activity. Natively, you don't have any queue, but you can create new ones by clicking on manage queues. One of the good organization I found is to create one queue per poll of your company. So you can have a clear understanding at any point about what needs to be done in marketing, in sales, in customer success, etc. So to create a new queue, you can click on create task queue, give it a name. So queue server service, for instance, and you can choose is access type. Is it private? So only for you shared only for you and other users. So for instance, for all the customer service team or public. So everyone in the portal can see it. You click on save. And if you want to be even more consistent in your effort, you can click on create view, for instance. So you will create the sales view. So when you go back to your task, you will have the sales here and you don't even need to play with filters again. You can just click here and you will have all the sales related tasks. And so if you don't create views for each of these different queues, you can just click here and choose the different filters to only see the queues that are on your interest. Now that you have created your queues, it will not change anything if you don't add this queue logic into your task creation. So to do so, every time you create a task, you will need to set it up as always. And on the queue part, you just need to make sure it's a marketing sales or customer service. Create a new one if you don't see the queue related to what it is and make sure you do that for every task you create. If you create task through automation, just change your automation to add the queue part on it. I hope this short tricks was useful to you. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel. If you want to get a deeper knowledge on how to set up your optimized Uspot portal, please find a link in the description below of my free training. It was Greg. I wish you a good day and see you soon.